old lady who was not afraid of anything. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes, and the shoes went clop, clop. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked down the path. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clop, clop. Farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear. Shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt. And the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked, a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear. The shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap. And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And she walked just a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear. Shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt goes shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, and one hat goes nod nod. By now the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head and the head went boo boo. This time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all, she ran. But behind her she could hear two shoes go clop clop, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one very scary pumpkin head go boo boo. Lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage and the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock at the door. So she answered it. Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one very scary pumpkin head go boo boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin suddenly looked very unhappy. An idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded, and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door, and whistled on her way back to bed. Next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one very scary pumpkin head go boo boo, and scared all the pumpkins away. The end. Pete the Cat Crowns Rock. Pete loves his big box of groovy crowns. He loves to draw things like cars, trucks, flowers, and trees. 
and most of all, the big blue sea. From rockin' red to cool cat blue, with a box of crowns, there's nothing Pete can't do. One day, Pete decided to draw something new. His friends. Using lots of colors is so much fun. Pete wanted to use every one. He scribbled and drew a great big smile. His drawings were groovy and rockin' with style. Pete was proud of the pictures he drew. He hoped his friends would dig them too. Pete showed Grumpy Toad first. Grumpy Toad said, that doesn't look right. Those colors are way too bright. Oh, I wonder how Pete the Cat is feeling. The next one would be dynamite. Pete showed Gus his picture too. Gus asked, who is this supposed to be? It doesn't really look like me. Pete thought, hey, no sweat. That's all right. The next one will be just right. Pete finally showed Callie her picture. Callie said, this one is fine, but it feels like something is missing from mine. Hmm, what's missing from Callie's picture? Bummer, I guess my drawings aren't the best. Pete started to frown. He put his crowns down. An art class a teacher asked, Pete, what are you going to make? I don't know. I'm afraid of making a mistake. Pete looked around. Gus drew the coolest superheroes. Callie's flowers were awesome out of sight. Grumpy's motorcycle was just right. Pete's heart sank. His paper was blank. The gang looked at Pete and said, No sweat, it's all right. It doesn't have to be just right. Your art is cool because it's you. Your art is so unique. Grab your groovy box of crowns. Show us your technique. The teacher agreed art should be fun. Art is for everyone. From rockin' red to cool cap blue, with a box of crowns, there's nothing you can't do. Pete smiled. There are no rules. It's no big deal. Art is about how it makes you feel. Pete loved his cool art. That's the one thing Pete knew. Suddenly, Pete knew exactly what to do. Instead of drawing them one by one, Pete drew the whole gang, just having fun. Boys and girls, did you notice something different in these pictures? Did you see on the front cover? It's so silly. Is there a picture of a doted on there? Do you see it? That is so silly. Did you see some, some other donuts in our story? Good. Let's look through our pictures and see how many donuts we see. Let's count the first one. Good job. Let's see where the other one is. Do you see any donuts on this page? Hmm. No, we still have just one. Hmm, what about on this page? Nope, just some crowns, right? What about on the next page? <gasps> Do you see a donut? Point to it. Do you see it? 
So that's one, two donuts. Hmm, I think someone must have been hungry. What about on this page? Do you see one? Where is it? How many is that? One, two, and good job, friends. You guys are doing an excellent job. Hmm. Do we see any donuts on this page? Mm -mm. Let's see. Oh, what about on this page? No, they're just grumpy toad, right? What about over here? Do you see a donut? How many does that make? Let's see, what would happen if we forgot? We said, you know, I was just looking at the pictures and I don't remember how many donuts there are. Right, we could go back in the story and count them. So that's one donut, right? Because it's always best to make sure. Then on this page, let's see. Two donuts, three donuts, none on that page, three, and then how many donuts do we have now, boys and girls? Good job. So four, let's keep looking. Those donuts are trying to hide from us, aren't they? That's so silly, they're in this book. So how many donuts do we have now? Right. We have four. <gasps> do you see one? Good job. Five. Hmm. <gasps> do you see one? Is Pete holding one? Pete the cat holding one? Good. Six. Oh my goodness, the donuts on the bus. Look at them. The wheels are made out of donuts. Seven, then what comes after seven? Good. Let's see, what's next? Oh, I see one. Good job. Nine. Oh, and ten. Good job, boys and girls. How many donuts did you see?